Hi there and welcome back to another episode. Now this week, just carrying on from what I was doing last week with a basilisk task, doing some alkin in between the hits because it's a very slow task. Managed to pull myself the basilisk jaw. Absolutely ecstatic with this. Great addition for if I want to do something that's non-slayer related because I can just use the, the face guard rather than just the nezzy helm. So great to get that and obviously now I don't have to do basilisk anymore. Now on with the main bulk of the video. It's going to be training my least favorite skill, which is thieving. Uh, it's just something I don't enjoy doing, but you know, it's got to get done and go get those elite diary requirements done. So the first one is going to be pickpocketing Ardy Knights, very standard one, try and find a splash world using the CCs and then just spam the knight wearing the rogues outfit with the hit points cape to obviously recharge that HP as well as the necklaces to reduce the stun chance of the, of them. Uh, I managed to pull 134k GP and 130k XP, so pretty consistent, pretty easy, probably my preferred way of getting up to 94, but speaking of 94, that's going to be after, you know, trying Master Farmers now, that's what I want to do from sort of 94 to 99, because it's a 100% success rate, and I'll get a bunch of seeds, all sort of the, the hops and the herb seeds that are going to see me through right the way through for any potions I want to make or my herb law grind. It's a little bit more of an annoying place to do it in the farming guild, can't trap them as easily, but I did still manage to get 73k XP and about 400k in seeds, not that the seed value matters, but it, it's, it's fairly easy because I can just run everything back to the seed vault, but it's not particularly quick, so I will obviously do something else to get to that point where it's 100% success rate. Now sort of the I'd say the most click intensive method that I tried is uh, Pyramid Plunder. Now, the sort of best way to do this to maximize your XP is going it through and then only opening the central chest. And then in your second to top and top room, you loot all the urns and then the central chest as well. You can do the sarcophagus, but it's not as, as essential. Um, and I think mostly people do the sarcophagus and the, and the big chests in order to try and get the um, staff. But obviously I've already got that because I've got the altar, but it would be helpful to get it for the master clue step that obviously at the moment I can't do. Very quick intensive, a little bit annoying having to make sure that you've got sort of food on you and anti-poisons and things like that, which is obviously just why I'm wearing high prayer gear. So I can just pray melee against anything that spawns, but obviously you're still going to get poisoned from time to time. A little bit annoying. Only 128k XP gained, so less than the Ardy Knights, and to me a lot more work. So obviously we're now moving on to what is deemed sort of the meta way of training, which is using the Malefite Thugs and doing blackjacking. Obviously knocking them out, pickpocketing twice, knocking them out, pickpocketing twice, and just rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat, trying to trap one in a house and keep going with that. Obviously the same setup as the Ardy Knights, basically. We're just obviously using a dragon defender and a blackjack. Uh, but to me, I hate this. I hate how click intensive this is. And obviously it's hyper focused on making sure that you're sort of getting in the rhythm of it. Once you get the rhythm, it's not too bad. Did get about the same GP value out of Ardy, the same as Ardy Knights and about 20k XP more an hour. So in terms of that, yeah, 20 XP or 20k XP, that's pretty good. But for the amount of extra effort it takes, it's not the one for me. So... I will be training thieving, and I think for me it's going to be Ardy Knights. I think that's a very standard thing for a lot of Iron Men to do. It gives you a bit of GP. It's not a massive amount of GP. You're going to earn more from doing things like Slayer, but it's certainly the easiest way, I think, to get up until whatever level you want to get so that you can do something else. Maybe go and pickpocket buyers, pickpocket elves, whatever. I will eventually try and do some elf pickpocketing just to get the shards and the teleport crystal because obviously they're going to be great help in order to teleport around to Priftonus all the time and then obviously when I get my bow for eventually maybe even a blade I'll be able to actually corrupt them and that will be a lot better in terms of just trying to get that rather than continuously running gauntlet if I green log it early or I get the drop early I can go and pickpocket there but my main goal is to get to 94 then pickpocket master farmers uh, and obviously switch that up when I feel necessary but at the moment, it was just sort of trialing what is going to be the best way for me to train it. Uh, but, you know, I've sort of got the answer now, which I thought was going to be the answer is doing Ardy Knights. But as you've just seen, I opened a few clues, not too many. Did open a master and managed to get myself the Half Moon Spectacles. Good bit of fashion escape there, but nothing amazing <laughs> as usual. It would have been great to get some 
proper rare drop table stuff. But for now, that's it for this episode. Until next time.